In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve problems involving circles and the Pythagorean theorem. Question one reads, find the distance x in the figure below. So we're looking for this part that's missing, and what we've been given is the diameter. The diameter is the distance from here all the way to here, it's 4 decimal 12. We've also been given the distance of this chord, this line segment that spans from here to here and it's 3 decimal 16. To find out what this is, the first thing that I have to do is extend a line from the center to this part of the circle, and that will serve as my radius. And this line will be called r. Next, the distance from here to here is half 3 decimal 16. I need this distance along with the distance of the radius, which is half the diameter, in order for me to find out what the length of this line is equal to. So let's go ahead and find out what the length of this line is equal to. I'll first take 3 decimal 16 and divide it by 2. Using our calculator, we have 3 decimal 16 divided by 2. That's exactly 1 decimal 58. Just to give you an idea of what we just found, that's the length from here to here, 1.58. To find the radius, I'll take 4 decimal 12 and divide that by 2. Using our calculator, 4.12 divided by 2, and we get 2 decimal 06. So we just found out what r is, it's 2 decimal 06. Now I'll use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the length from here to here. And the reason why I'm finding the length from here to here is so that I can eventually subtract that number from the radius, and that will give me what's remaining, which is x. So let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. We have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Our hypotenuse is r, which I'll replace with 2 decimal 0, 06 squared. This side can be called a, and this side we already know it's 1.58 plus 1.58 squared. We isolate for a by taking this term over. 2 decimal 0, 06 squared minus 1.58 squared, and then eventually we square root both sides. So let's do the right side. 2 decimal 0, 06 squared minus 1.58 squared. Square root that, and we get 1.32. So the length from here to here is 1.32. If I subtract this from 2 decimal 0, 06, the radius, I should get x. So 2 decimal 0, 06 minus 1.32 gives me my value of x. 0 0.74 is the distance of what's highlighted. That's the answer to question number one. Let's challenge ourselves with something a little more complicated. The question reads, find the radius of the circle if the chord length C is 8 decimal 12 centimeters and the height from here to here is 1.16. So pretend we have a chord that spans the length from here all the way to here and the radius is the distance from here to the center of the circle. I'll fill in what the height is, it's 1.16. And what I can do is divide 8 decimal 25 to give me the length from here to here. 8.25 divided by 2, 8.25 divided by 2 is 4.125. So I have the distance from here to here. In addition, the radius is from here all the way to here, or from here all the way to here. So I'll extend a line from the center point to this point, and I'll call the radius r. So we have this length of 4.125 and the radius of r. Now I'll redraw this triangle just so that you have a clearer view of what's happening. We have a triangle of hypotenuse r, and it's a right triangle where the length from the right angle to this vertex is 4.125. We need one more piece of information to use the Pythagorean theorem. And what we can do is write an algebraic expression to represent the length from here to here. Notice that the radius is r from here to here and 1.16 
has already been taken away from the length of the radius which represents this line. So what I can write here is the radius minus 1.16. Now let's plug this into the Pythagorean theorem, which was a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And let's try to solve for r. This leg and this leg are given as our a and our b is equal to c squared. This will be replaced with r shortly. This part is easy. You square the number and you get 17.015, 17.015. Over here we have a binomial, r minus 1.16 raised to the power of 2. We have to expand. So we have r minus 1.16 bracket r minus 1.16. You can expand it like this, where r times these two terms, that gives you r squared minus 1.16r, and the same thing for this term, minus 1.16r plus whatever the product of negative 1.16 times negative 1.16 is, and that is positive 1.34, 1.34, and we'll keep a few more numbers, 5, 6. Combining these two, we get r squared minus 2.32r plus 1.3456. Now I'll take this expression and place it over here, is equal to c, which I'll replace with r squared. Now since we have an r squared on the left side and one on the right side, if you move this over, they will cancel out. And combining this term with this term, because they're like terms, we get the number on your screen plus 17.015, that's 18.36, 18.36. Taking this term to the other side, because now we want to find out what r is, 2.32r. Divide both sides by 2.32, and we should end up with our radius. And we get 7.91. 7.91 is our radius. And this number is exactly what the question asks us. And there you have it. That is how to solve problems involving circles and the Pythagorean theorem.